Jiffy. Uh, go to it, Samurai. I tell you, that was a rough mission. Yeah, I thought that sub had us for good. Oh, what are you, a bunch of panty waste? That torpedo missed you by at least three feet. Uh, I wish you'd tell that to my goosebumps. They haven't gone down yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which one of you guys swiped my new shaving kit? Swiped it? Oh, you're daffy. Who needs it? Hey, where's my portable radio? What are you talking about? Uh, don't look at me. Well, I left it right here this morning. Hey! Oh, dear, hold gone. Somebody swiped my roast chicken. Uh, somebody took my beer mug and who's been sleeping in my bed? <laughs> what the devil is going on here? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what's been going on here. This place has been ransacked. Hey, condition uh, red. My piggy bank's been stolen. <laughs> hold it, hold it, boys, hold it. I think we've got those thieves cornered. All right, men. Draw your guns. Are you ready? Aim! Fire! No shoot! No shoot! Look at that. Just look at them. Get out of here. Bring them out here. You don't have no guns. No, but let's see what you have here. Hey, here's my shaving kit. And my portable radio. And there's my shoes. And those are my gunny sacks. And my roast chicken. Hey, and my piggy bank. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, it seems like you baby bandits made quite a haul. Excuse us, senor. We give it all back. Toto. Oh, hmm. <laughs> Toto, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. If I had you little devils in the Navy, oh, I'd put you on 30 days bread and water, and then I'd start your punishment. All right. Now, no nonsense. I want an answer, and I want a straight answer. Now, <clears throat> now which one of you guys is WBB? Why, well, what you got there? Uh, never mind, Skip, I can handle this. All right, now the initials WBB are plainly marked on this pen. Wait, 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 wait. W-B-B. Wallace Burton Binghamton. Funny name for an Italian kid. Uh, condition red. Lead bottom's coming. He's breathing fire. Oh, of all the times for him to show up. Well, he's probably after his pen. Sure, he probably thinks we grabbed it. Boy, now your kids are going to get it. Please, senor, don't turn us into the fuzz. Fuzz? Grover, come here. Fuzz. Look, remember Operation Slip Back? Oh, sure, Skipper. Well, then it's on again. Here, Fuji, you watch these junior Jesse James until we get back. Come on, you guys, on the double. Let's go. Now, one move, and I'll let you have it. Capiche? <laughs> All right, Michael, this is a raid. Come on, with your hands up. All right, you men, surround the area. Don't ask any questions, son. Just shoot to kill. Now, calm down, Captain. I'm sure they Hup, know two, what they're doing. Three, There's no need Hup, to... Hup, two, three, four. Hup, two, three, four. Hup, two, three, four. Oh, hi, Captain. Just having a close sort of dresser. Knock it off, Michael. You bring him back here. Four, hup, back to the rear. Crunch. I'm sorry, sir, they sort of got away from me. Got away from me. Did you see that? Oh, yes, sir. I attacked their commanding officer, and I've got you as a witness. The guards getting covered. Excuse me, Captain. Your grumpy hands off of me. Oh, this is an outrage, an absolute outrage. When I got four witnesses, we'll just add assault and battery to the other charges. How well, uh, what were those other charges, uh, Captain? Don't you blink your baby blues at me. You know what the other charges are. Now, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's what? Where's what? Where's what? All right, little Sir Echo, knock it off. We are after the Captain's gold pen, that's what. It's the one Pumpkin gave him. That's right, Dr. Carpenter. I told you, don't you ever mention my wife's name in front of these hoodlums. Pumpkin Binghamton. Sounds like a party dip. <laughs> oh, you're not even gonna live for the court martial. All right, Michael, you gonna tell me where it is, or I'll have to search every one of you men. Well, now, sir, if we knew what kind of pen it was, I mean, it'd be a great help. Are you gonna play it innocent, are you? All right, goody two-shoes, I'll tell you what it looks like. It's the pen that your brownie troop here heisted from my office. It is my gold pen. It is the one with my initials on it, WBB, Wallace Burton Binghamton, my pen. Could you give us a more detailed description, Captain? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
You're gonna get it, too, you <laughs> stupid. What do you mean I'm more... Why does a pen look like, for heavens? It looks like a pen. This is what a pen looks like. It's a gold pen. It's long. It's got a point on it. That has the initials WBB on it. That's a pen, Snoop. He doesn't know... That, uh, that's, uh... Well, well, where'd that come from? It came right from your pocket, sir. Gold WBB. Is this it, Captain? Uh, uh, see that? WBB, yep, those are your initials, all right. Just like the ones on your underwear. Some of the laundry. <laughs> That's a boob. Well, Captain, looks like you've taken us on another wild goose chase. We've got to be getting back. Yeah. Let's go, man. Hey, and if you'll pardon us, sir, we'll go back to our close order drill, especially that uh, to the rear hutch. Come on, boys. Pull in. Hi. Hup, two, three, four, hup, two. We're going to practice real hard. Stall. But this is your pencil. I know, I know. They did it to me again. How, how, how. Come, sir. <laughs> You bunch of drill masters, he's gone. Well, that was a narrow escape, Skip. Thanks to Gruber. Yeah, nice going, Lester. Thank you, Skipper. It gave me a chance to brush up on a trick I used to do in the old days. Yeah, which one was that? Get a load of this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I run him up on a flagpole, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Skip, what are we going to do about those three seeming little monsters? We ought to give them a good paddling and send them on their way. Now, wait a minute. Uh, Skip, I think I can straighten them out. Why, back home, kids our age would be in the scouts. And I thought, oh, I could just see those three little monsters in the Boy Scouts. Oh, they'd heist the moccasins right out from under the Scoutmaster. Yeah, I'm afraid they're right, Chuck. Oh, I don't think so. You're forgetting back in Chagun Falls, I was a Star Scout. I had nine merit badges. Do they have one for mugging? Your first hike did hijack the marshmallows. Well, I don't think so. I, I'm sure I could help him, and besides, I could do it all on my own time. Well, what do you say? Well, all right. I don't know what else to do with them, so if you're willing to try, go ahead. Oh, boy, thanks, Kevin. Don't worry, I'll make good Boy Scouts out of them. I can see it all now. The Al Capone Patrol. <laughs> Say, boy, I'm real proud of you, fellas. You caught around in a hurry. Yes, sir. Okay, I think that'll be enough. Um, you can undo the knots now. <laughs> Just uh, take off the bandages, boys, and we'll... Uh... <laughs> hey, where are you guys going? Wouldn't be back, Senor Parker. Now, don't you go anywhere. Oh, no, I... I did that to you. I did that to you. So long, boys. Wait a minute. Hey, you guys, hold it. I didn't dismiss you. We haven't got to bird watching yet. <laughs> Wait a minute. A scout does not lose his head. Now, according to the manual, you can do one of two things. Either remain calm or, uh, <clears throat> what's it? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Help! Help! Help me! Mr. Help! Parker! What happened? Oh, Chuck, what was it this time? Well, I was teaching the guys a little first aid, and I guess they got carried away. <laughs> carried away? Oh, come on, Chuck. Wise up, will you? Those hooligans are too much for you. Now, why don't you admit it? Well, I thought I was starting to get through to him. I think so, too. It's the first time I've seen him gift wrapped. Is that your group? Yeah. Hey, Skip, you think we better unwrap him? Oh, no. Just leave him just like that. <laughs> Go on, untie him. Boy, they tie a mean square knot, don't they? <laughs> All right, now, boys. Since you've been doing so good, today we're going to move right up to signaling. <clears throat> An exciting... Uh, venture into the world. <clears throat> uh, don't applaud, boys. It just, uh... <laughs> now, in signaling, you'll note that we send various letters by placing the flags in various positions. Now, for instance, this is A. This is B. This flag is missing. Uh, I had two of them. I'd see, you used two when you... Well, I must have left it down below. I, I'll get it. It won't take me but a minute. <laughs> now, uh, you boys won't go away like you did yesterday, will you? All right, because remember... A scout is trustworthy. <laughs> well, he's trustworthy, too. Several, I think. Pier <laughs> Baco, how long did this go on? I know one thing. It will take him more than a minute to find the flag. <laughs> hey, look at all these garbage cans. Those aren't garbage cans, dummy. They're ash cans. Here, I'll show you how it works. <laughs> Get down, get the yard out. Make room for me. It's the Jerry's. It was not the Jerry's, it was. Hey, don't tell me you kids. Now look, you guys. Don't you realize that somebody wow, could have killed What was that? Oh, <coughs> murder. Hey, what? Chuck, what the devil happened? 
happen? Yeah, it was one of those death charges. Oh. All the lame brain stuff. Hey, listen, we could have been killed. Uh -huh. All right, you kids have had it. That's the last time I'm going to put up with any of this. Skip, it wasn't their fault. I did it. If you think you can blow up half our base and risk the lives of my men, you did it? Yeah, uh, I did it. Uh, isn't that right, kids? Uh, yeah, well, you see, I was just teaching them a little uh, shipboard safety and then telling them things not to touch. You know, well, like these handles. <laughs> That's two, but uh, uh, don't worry, Skip, I'll pay for it. I Here, I got a dollar and a quarter. Uh, just, uh, oh boy, well, my allowance should be coming from my mom anytime. Oh, time. stop it, will you? Stop it! All right, come on, you kids. Scout meeting's over. As a matter of fact, it's over forever. Through Caput, Pirito, and Diablo Villa. <laughs> and as for you, my ex scoutmaster you got a little explaining to do. Now, Blowing up those ash cans was bad enough. But where were you for the map reading session? It was scheduled for exactly four o'clock. Sharp! You were a half hour late. It's funny, uh, I only got ten to three. So, see, you guys would be half hour early. So, uh, that would, uh... <clears throat> oh, boy, must have broke it. I bet you I broke it when I went up that tree looking at the yellow-breasted nuthatch. <laughs> yellow-breasted nut... I ever hear you one more word about starting... Get out of my way. Skip seemed a little upset. Nobody ever stick up for us like that before. I wish we could help him, but to what can we do? What can we do? Dummy. Ensign Parker, he's in a trouble because he got a broken watch. So we get him a new one. That's what we do. <laughs> Oh, General Bronson. You should know better than to call me out of a top-level staff meeting. Now, what is it this time? Oh, well, uh, General, I wanted to ask for an extra detail of, of MPs for this area. You see, there's been a lot of things stolen lately. You want an extra detail? I've had at least a dozen complaints from the MPs you've got now. They say you're running their tails off with all these false alarms. General, these are not false alarms. You say they've been swiping everything in sight. Get some deals in, sir. Oh, sir. Sir, they're at it again. Oh, wow, 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 wow. My typewriter, it's been stolen. See that, General? You see that? Oh, give me the MPs. I want to call out the riot squad. I want the uh, machine guns. I want tear gas. I want the works. We're going after the typewriter mob. What are you babbling about? What typewriter mob? Mikhail's marauders have struck again. We'll see about my false alarms. Excuse me, sir. Typewriter repair. Where does this go? Get out of our way, boy. Can't the you property see? of Lieutenant Elroy Carpenter. I presume you're Elroy. <laughs> Give me the MPs. Now, this is General Bronson. A few seconds ago, you got an hysterical call from a babbling fool. Oh, forget it. No, no, riot squad, no guns. Those were just the rantings of a man on his way to Iceland. Iceland? Unless I can think of someplace farther north. But, but General, you can't send me to Iceland. I, I, I've got thin blood. Well, then I'd advise you to get some thick underwear. One more false alarm is going to be Wally the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> Guys, look what someone left me. Where'd that come from, Mr. Parker? I found it under my pillow. I think the Tooth Fairy left it. <laughs> tooth Fairy? Yeah, remember that wisdom tooth that came in upside down last week? Well, it fell out. Tooth Fairy, my foot, that's the captain's clock. Those little hoods must have lifted it out of his office. <laughs> come this on, Red. Big number don't coming. Oh, oh no! no. It's time for him to show Where up. Where the hell think we swiped it? Pooch, Pooch, get out of there, there, quick. Boy, those guys have really scuttled us this time. Yeah, they promised. Ah, don't anybody move. <laughs> Start talking, Mikhail. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hi, Captain. Never. Well, where's what? 
Now, don't you start with that where's what stuff with me again, because I'm going to turn this place upside down until I find it. Now, what is it exactly that you're looking for, sir? Is it your gold pen, Captain? Is that missing? I didn't even know about it. I don't care about it. It's my ship's clock I'm after. Clock? What clock, sir? The one that goes boing, boing, boing. Yeah, I beg your pardon, sir, but uh, did you say boing, boing, boing? Yes, the captain said boing, boing, boing. You heard him. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but I have no idea where to... <laughs> What's that? Well, it's, uh, it's probably Big Ben, sir. They say the sound travels for miles. Yes, yeah, that's right, sir. You hear it? Is that what they say? The sound travels for miles. All right, Mother Goose. Get off of that mess! I wouldn't open that, sir. It could be dangerous. Oh, is that it? Elroy, you heard that? You open it. Oh, but sir, he said it could be dangerous. I'll open it, I'll open it. Elroy, could be dangerous. <laughs> oh, sir! <gasps> well, Mr. Big, we've come to the end of a long road, haven't we? Finally caught you and your gang red-handed. All right, mm -hmm. Lieutenant, the crime wave is over. Arrest them right now. Arrest the whole caboodle. Yes, sir. I'll see that they're put in the brig. No, I don't want them in the brig. They could escape from the brig. I want them where I can keep my eye on them. I want them in the dungeon under City Hall. The dungeon? Oh, now, wait a minute, I'll Captain. You tell can... it to the judge, McHale. Fall in. Hop, two, three, four. Oh, Fall in. in. Oh, Mia, again we get in some Parker in trouble. See, but this time we can really help. They're locking them in the old dungeon where we used to play. Come, Avanti! Come on, come on! Get in there! Hurry up, hurry up! Come on, watch! Take it easy! Come on, you two come in and get in there! That's the end of the line for the infamous Mikhail gang. <laughs> there we go. Well, for once, Leadbottom was right. This is the end of the line. Who'd ever think we'd finish like this? Done in by a bunch of Boy Scouts. Uh, it wasn't their fault. They were just trying to do a good turn. When I broke my watch, oh, they broke please, Chuck, it. save it, will you? You meant well, but... Well, let's just forget it. against the wall over there. Boy, is Binghamton never going to be mad now for us busting up his dungeon? Holy jumping. Holy jumping. Give me a hand. Help 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 me Oh, sorry, sir. Oh, sorry, we only tried to help. Oh, we're sorry about the clock, too. And all the other things we stole. Wait a minute. How many other things were there? Oh, about a truckload. Oh, and the truck. <laughs> well, I hope you guys took those things before you were scouts. Senor Parker, he's scout is trustworthy. Skip, old Leadbottom will blame us for everything. And Binghamton's gone for the general. Hey, where did you guys stash all that stuff? In the woods near Guinari's farmhouse. We'd like to give it all back. Hey, wait a minute. That's it. I've got it. We will give it back, and where it'll do the most good. Come on, Chuck, get up there. Hey, give me a box. Go ahead. Here, yeah, come on. Let's go. Excuse me. Let's come inside his cover for us. Whenever. Well, that's the last of the loot. Yeah. Well, those kids had enough there to start their own war surplus store. I don't understand why I brought all the stuff over to Binghamton's office. Look, I'll explain it to you later. Right now, we better get back to that dungeon and fast. Come yeah. on. Oh, I got him, General. I caught them with the goods. I've got them locked up in my dungeon. You better be right, Binghamton. I'm getting sick and tired of being called out of important conferences. Oh, I am, General. I've got a list of articles right here that have been stolen in this area. That's enough to put McHale and his mob away for 20 years, General. Hi, you look out there! General! General, it's McHale and Parker right here. What are you raving about? I don't see it. Oh, I can't escape, General. Jailbreak, MP! 
hooked it. Well, Carpenter, I'm going to have you shot for this, shut, asleep shut, at your post. How dare you let those hoodlums escape? But, sir, I haven't been asleep. And I swear to you, sir, not a soul has come through that door. Uh, now, look, Binghamton, I tell you, I've had... lying, General. I saw those hoodlums running down the street. You open the door and I'll yes, prove sir. it. This shows what desperados they are, General. Imagine escaping from a dungeon like this for heaven's sake. How do that? But, sir, I'm almost... Got... <laughs> All right, General. There you are, sir. Right there. Oh, hi, they're gone. They're gone. Oh, hi, Captain. Uh, uh, General. Uh, say, fellas, could you keep it down? I got him on a blitz. Parker. <laughs> Hale. I saw you outside. Now, what are you doing here? Well, sir, you put us in here. We're under arrest. Binghamton, this is the absolute end. Have you flipped? This is the last false alarm you're going to get me out on. General, this is no false alarm. I tell you, I saw them in the street and I caught them with my stolen ship's clock. I got a whole list of things here they stole. Uh, the, the begging the General's pardon, sir, uh, but uh, it's not very nice to argue in front of the enlisted men. Couldn't we continue this, say, uh, over in the captain's office, sir? That's a good idea, McHale. Let's go, Binghamton. General, there is nothing to continue. They're guilty. I don't want them in my Let's life. go, Binghamton! <laughs> This list, General. If I can just find out where they have it all stashed, then we'll be able to lock them up and throw away the key. And you say they stole all these items? Oh, yes, sir. it's all down here. Two radio transmitters, five cases of sea rations, the silver tea service from the officers' club, four smoked hams. You mean five smoked hams? Five. Oh, five, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I only had four. <laughs> May I see that, sir? Let's see. Yes, sir. Everything seems to be here. There's a Dozen blankets there, and uh, see a film project. Yes, everything's here, all right. <laughs> but, but how, how, how did it get in my office? That's what I'd like to know, Binghamton. No wonder you were so anxious to keep me from coming up here. What's this? My riding boots. <laughs> Your riding boots? I, 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 I... There, there, Captain. I'm sure you couldn't help it, sir. Probably stems from your childhood. Did you hate your father? Well, no, I didn't hate my father. I, uh, but I had an uncle. I couldn't stand him. He, what's the difference how I felt about it? I didn't take any of this. You did. The captain appears to be suffering from a severe case of kleptomania. Kleptomania? But I didn't take any of this. They did. Oh, sure, Captain. While they were out on their jailbreak. While you just sit and relax in your office, I'm sending for the medics. But I don't want them. I'm not sick. It's just one of their tricks. You're confined to this office, Captain, and that's an order. Let's go, Mikhail. Hey, yes, sir, General. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Well, see you around, sticky fingers. <laughs> well, I don't have kleptomania. I have a few other problems, but I don't have kleptomania. Oh, boing, boing is selfie. <laughs> I'm sorry the captain gave you such a bad time, Mikhail, but the medics are all agreed he needs a long rest. Yes, sir. What seems to be the trouble, Lieutenant? Oh, sorry, sir, but you won't start. Sir, the engine seems to be missing. <laughs> no, Binghamton again. Oh, that, that poor man, he'll steal anything. Well, lucky we caught him in time. Come on, Lieutenant, we'll pick up another Jeep at the motor pool. Good night, men. Uh, good night, General. Good night, sir. I wonder what could have happened to him. Think it was the kids? Are you kidding? They reformed, right? They wouldn't do a thing like that. I... I have dinner ready in Jiffy. Uh, go to it, Samurai. Oh, I tell you, that was a rough mission. Yeah, I thought that sub had us for good. Oh, what are you, a bunch of panty waste? That torpedo missed you by at least three feet. Uh, I wish you'd tell that to my goosebumps. They haven't gone down yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which one of you guys swiped my new shaving kit? Swiped it? Oh, you're daffy. Who needs it? Hey, where's my portable radio? What are you talking about? Uh, don't look at me. Well, I left it right here this morning. Hey! Oh, they are all gone. Somebody swiped my roast chicken. Uh, somebody took my beer mug and who's been sleeping in my bed? What the devil is going on here? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what's been going on here. This place has been ransacked. Hey, condition red. My piggy bank's been stolen. Hold it, hold it, boys, hold it. 
I think we've got those thieves cornered. All right, men, draw your guns. Are you ready? Aim! Fire! No shoot! Just look at them. Get out here. Bring them out here. You don't have no guns. No, but let's see what you have here. Hey, here's my shaving kit. And my portable radio. And there's my shoes. Those are my gunny sacks. And my roast chicken. Hey, and my piggy bank. Aha. Well, it seems like you baby bandits made quite a haul. Excuse us, senor. We give it all back. Toto. Oh, hmm. <laughs> Toto, huh? <laughs> Yes, sir. If I had you little devils in the Navy, oh, I'd put you on 30 days bread and water, and then I'd start your punishment. All right. Now, no nonsense. I want an answer, and I want a straight answer. Now, <clears throat> now which one of you guys is WBB? Why, well, what you got there? Uh, never mind, Skip. I can handle this. All right, now the initials WBB are plainly marked on this pen. Wait, 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 wait. WBB. Wallace Burton Binghamton.